guys, I'm Azealia and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. Today, the star of the channel is Begonia. She is my Angora rabbit. She's a floof ball. See, here's her little rabbit ears. She's pretty much in full coat right now. She's a wool rabbit. She absolutely must be sheared like every three months. And today, I have a special surprise for Begonia. So, A.B. Tuvin has gifted us and sent us a rabbit hutch. And I'm so excited to put it together. So, we're in the living room. This is where Begonia lives here in our new house. And she is in a great enclosure but it's not as visually appealing as I would like it to be. But it does the job. So she's got her litter box and she's got some rugs and she has a good time in here. But I want my living room to look more fancy, more nicer. So I think that this AV Tuvin rabbit hutch is going to really improve the aesthetic of my living room. All right. This is the A.V. Tevin Rabbit Hutch. Looks like this, or it will once I'm done with it. It's about this big. Let's open her up. In the background, you can see Miss Begonia's cage that I constructed out of some shelves here before. She's nice and happy over there. This still looks like a rabbit house. AV Tuvin has fast shipping. Shipping in one to two working days from eight warehouses in the USA. So you're gonna get it in three to five days. So this thing is made out of fir wood. It smells really great. It's painted with water-based safe paints. It's totally fine, good, ready for the little critters. double-decker rabbit house part first. Now, all around me, I have laid out all the pieces. Every big piece has a sticker on it that has a letter, and then I've got all the little packets, and they're all labeled too. So I've got my little packets and my big pieces laid where I can easily see and find what I need when.
Y'all, this has been a pretty good experience. Um, so it said it would take like two people to assemble this. And I think it said 45 minutes. Now I have a little baby, a little three month old baby that I have to go back and forth with that takes little naps. So I was just kind of hitting this project in between nap time. So I don't know how much time I spent, but I definitely did it all by myself. And it really did go together easily. So everything was labeled, every piece, little packages of screws, everything was labeled. Um, there were like little dowel rods that stuck out of pieces that then fit like a puzzle to the piece it was supposed to be to that made things line up just right. Then you put your screw in. So that was really helpful too. Um, my power driver, like I would not use just a little screwdriver like this. I would go ahead and use the power driver that, I mean, it was, it was so easy with that. Um, Begonia likes it. <laughs> She's ready for a shave. I think she's hot. So I'm going to have to shave her down soon, but it's looking really great. It's going to protect our floor um, because she was, we put cardboard down and then rugs down um, in the thing that we had made for her before, which is a very common and really useful, nice and big um, setup for a rabbit. But this just looks amazing. So I'm really happy. The AV tube and like I was looking on their site and they have so many different animal enclosures like for reptiles, for turtles, catio, like a patio for a cat, um, chicken coops and all of their cages come flat packed like you saw me unpack it. Like everything was bubble wrapped, foamed and like flat packed in very efficiently. Um, so there's just, they have so many different things to look for. Um, it's metal, wood, it's got like the plastic trays, which are going to protect our floor. We can clean out nicely for begonia. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. What do you think, rabbit girl? What you think? It's so pretty. It's my new castle house. That's what I thought you'd say, Begonia.